dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Last episode, we walked through Vancouver, Washington's new waterfront. And today, I'm going to take you through my favorite spots in Uptown Downtown. We begin today in front of the many murals that you can find on an art walk downtown. You can find more information and locations by checking out the Clark County Mural Society on Facebook. There are more than 24 murals, and many of them depict the city's rich history, from the beginnings of the city and its first indigenous communities, to the commemoration of the Vancouver Fire Department's 150th birthday. Bow, 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 bow. I turned the corner and I ran into a wild mortgage officer, Devin. What's up? Hey, hey dude. With Cardinal Financial Mortgage Company. And then we skipped over to my favorite restaurant in the whole area. <laughs> <laughs> the Smokin' Oak. You can smell their barbecue from blocks away. They cook scratch made food on a massive custom offset barrel smoker, burning white oak six days a week. The best thing that they make is their brisket. Oh. They serve it sliced as meatloaf or as my favorite happy hour item, the birria tacos. <laughs> Demi definitely approves. The decor and atmosphere inside are other reasons to visit this amazing eatery. I sure do love the wall. 120 rotating bourbons and whiskeys that sure help wash it all down. With bellies full of barbecue, we decide to take a stroll over to the nearby Esther Short Park. Established in 1853, it is the oldest public square in the state of Washington. Its five beautiful acres are filled with art, large evergreen trees, an amphitheater, a fountain, rose gardens, and a playground. It's anchored at its southeast corner by the 69-foot Salmon Run Bell Tower. Nice! You will hear the 35 cast bronze bells chime every 15 minutes from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. The Vancouver Farmer's Market borders the west side of the park on weekends and features lots of eccentric local vendors with all kinds of goodies. Check the hours and the vendors out at VancouverFarmersMarket.com. A historic site you need to check out is the Kiggins Theater, a staple of downtown Vancouver. It is a single screen theater built way back in 1936. It's been renovated and changed hands several times over the years. In 2013, the current owner had a chance conversation with state representative Jim Moeller at the wine bar next door. This conversation led to the passage of the Kiggins Act, allowing the sale and consumption of alcohol at the Kiggins Theater and other small theaters in the state of Washington. Check their show times on their website. If you can fog a mirror, you are a taco margarita connoisseur, and you should check out Little Canejo. Their tacos and cocktails will knock your sombrero right off. Just a bit north, my two favorite spots to grab lunch, Thai Orchid and Heathen Brewing Feral House. Thai Orchid has a diverse menu with phenomenal curries, fried rice, sushi, and you wouldn't believe it, cocktails. Heathen Brewing Feral House is known for its massive, scenic outdoor patio and brewing its own 50 plus beers, sours, and wines. Their menu options are deliciously numerous, featuring pizza, burgers, tacos, and my favorite, the smoked wings with tribal sauce. Make sure to check out the massive outdoor patio for lunch. There are fighter jets that fly by around 12.30 some days and you can take in the stunning architecture that is St. James Catholic Church. The towering brick structure and ornate windows are incredible. They define the skyline of downtown Vancouver. The sophistication of the interior is awe-inspiring. Tours are offered on the last Saturday of each month. Construction of the building was completed in 1885 when Vancouver was essentially a frontier town. Imagine the technology they used to build this thing. Which brings us to our next video, where we'll talk about Fort Vancouver, Officers Row, and the Covington House. These foundational locations are cornerstones of Vancouver's rich history. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you know of any other locations that you want me to go over. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>